In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a daily agenda, habit tracker, and journals reflection log, all within one single Notion database. But if you're new here, my name is Larissa Nian, aka Lat the A E double S A, and this is the place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate so you can become that real estate agent. So if that sounds like your vibe, then please get subscribe. Now to begin, I'm basically going to show you how I created a specific database on my dashboard here, which is a template I sell for real estate agents. I'm gonna show you how to create this agenda in journals dashboard, which again is one single database that houses your agenda, journal, and basically your habit tracker. So I'm going to over head over to this page here, which is a blank page. Now to create a blank page, you just go to your private area here and just hit this plus button to add a new page. To begin, I always like to go up to the three dots up here. I like to turn my small text on and full width turned on. And then you can go ahead and name this accordingly. So I'm going to say agenda journal now we can go in and add an icon if you'd like you can add an emoji an icon here or a custom one now a site that i like to use for custom icons is flaticons.com so let me just open this up this is flaticon.com and this is where i go for custom icons so let's say i am looking for journal hit enter and basically, if you find one that you like, you just right click on them. So I'm going to right click on this one and then copy image address. Go back into your notion and then make sure you are on the custom here and then paste in that link. Hit submit and there you go. You have a cute little icon. You can also add in a cover if you'd like. So add cover. You can go over here to change cover and then you can choose one from the Notion gallery. You can upload your own. You can link one or go to Unsplash here. So let's just say this one. I think this is, it's cookies. Hmm. I thought it was a marble one. Mm, I'm just gonna remove my for now, but. You get the idea. So in this case, I'm going to hit my cursor here and we are going to create our first block. So you can hit this, oops, hit this plus button here to open up this menu of blocks. Or what I typically like to do is hit the backslash key, which is the one with the question mark and it will open up this same menu. Now I'm going to look for toggle. So I'm gonna look for a toggle list because for me, I like to house everything inside a toggle because it just makes your workspace a lot more cleaner. So I'm just gonna name this, oh, Open, open name, open me. And then I'm going to open this toggle, click it open. And then same thing, click down here. And I'm going to look for the inline database here. So now we have our database. You can go ahead and copy this and paste it in here. And then for to name that database, and you can also hide the name of the database here, click those three dots and then just hide the database, which I typically like to do. Now in this case, I want to have my agenda within a calendar view. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit this plus button here. And then over here, you see here, I'm going to look for a calendar. See that? Hit calendar. I'm going to leave it as the month. And then I'm just going to go over here to open pages in not center peak, but I prefer a side peak, which is this one. So I'm going to click that open and then just go ahead and hit done. And then we can just click and drag this over here. So that's the first page we will see. Now, next thing is we are going to be creating what I call notion cards. So these are template cards for this particular database. Now to do that, we need to go over here. You see this new button, click this down arrow. And this is where we can create a new template. So go ahead and click new template. And this is where we are going to be creating different templates for the days of the week and then the journal entry. So I hope you follow. It will make sense in just a bit. So in this case, I'm going to hit these three dots up here. I always like to turn small text on full width and we are going to just build out, let's say a Monday template. So I'm gonna name this page Monday. I'm gonna give it an icon too. I'm gonna go into icons and I'm just gonna use this recent one, which is just a calendar look. So I'm just gonna pick that. And then here we have below, these are called your properties. So right now we have the date. So I'm just gonna put this up here and tags. So you can remove this if you want to, but I'm going to actually just click on it and then edit the property. And I'm gonna name this day theme, or you can just name it day tags. I'm gonna keep 
turn keep this as a multi select and then i'm going to go down here to add an option so in this case you can if you are a mac user like myself if you go command control space it will open up your emoji keyboard and then this is where i just like to have fun so in this case if i do let's say this folder here i would name this admin and then just hit enter on your keyboard to create a new tag you can change the color of it if you'd like and then go back i'm going to add another option and let's say this is content creation and then i'm going to Let's see here, put in this here and then hit enter. And then let's say we have real estate. I'm going to do look for house, house, real estate. And then I'm going to actually, let's change this to green. And then I am going to, what else do we want? Day off, day off. Day of. I'm looking for X, 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 X. I don't know if that's there. X, day off, because we need those days, okay? So I'm going to hit enter and I'm just going to label this as red. So now we have our day theme. I'm gonna click that blank. And now underneath, this is where we can build out our template. Now for me, I like to make my Notion look pretty because when it's pretty and aesthetic, I like to use it. So in this case, I'm just going to put Monday. I'm gonna go back here and again, open up my emoji. I'm gonna click the brain and I'm going to just make this bolded. So Command B to bold it. I'm gonna hit those six dots here because I'm going to color in that block. So I'm going to Hover down to pink, and there we go. Now underneath, I'm going to create two columns, one for priorities and one for conquering my day, if you will. So again, I am going to hit the backslash key. I'm gonna look for a quote because I just like to make things pretty, you know? I'm gonna name this priorities, hit enter, and then I'm going to backslash key. I'm gonna look for a toggle. I'm going to get my emojis. So I'm gonna say this is scheduled scheduled so any appointments that i would have next thing would be notifications so i'm just going to say check and then hit enter again and then i'm going to label this one as habits so i'm going to put a sun here habits and now if we do this if we click the six dots here we can move this block into that quote so that way we have that black line so it just looks pretty did i do it no there we go and so now you can go in and add let's say a checklist to-do list here so you can name this uh, meeting one meeting two and then just hit enter underneath here and then we can close that out for your checklist here, I refer this to for checking my notifications. So again, I'm going to do a to-do list. Let's say emails, um, YouTube comments, etc. And you can go pretty elaborate with this if you want to, just to make sure that you have a running checklist. And then underneath my habits, same thing. I'm just going to go in and put in the habits that you would want to do. Journal, journal and then count, drink water and again you can make this as elaborate as you want then i'm just going to close this out underneath i'm going to hit oh, i don't want to be inside this quote here so i'm just going to hit enter and delete so underneath here i'm going to create another block so i'm going to create another quote here and i'm going to name this as conquer the day then underneath, I'm going to hit enter and same thing. I'm going to look for a toggle and I'm going to name this to do's, but I'm going to give this an emoji here. And again, same thing. I'm going to, oh, my mouse is stuck. I'm going to get this block here and just push it up right underneath. So it's in that black line there. And then you can go in and create a, another to-do list one two three four five and typically i just go back in and just remove whatever text is there so it says to do to do to do 
So there's that. And then I'm going to just make this bolded, bold that, close this out. And now what I'm going to do is actually take this quote block and click and drag. And I'm going to push it over here to see that blue line. I'm creating a second column. And then I'm going to just hover my mouse here and I'm just going to push this over. So basically it looks like that. And so that is your Monday template. Now, if we click out of here, just on to the gray space here. If we go down to this button here, new, you can see here that we have our Monday template. And so basically I would create a template for every day. The easiest way you can do that is then just go to these three dots here, to duplicate that particular template. So instead of Monday, we would just name this as Tuesday. And then we can go in and obviously change this out. Tuesday. And then we can change out the emoji. If you want to be a fancy, let's see here, give this a lightning bolt and click those six dots here and then we can change the color. Now, if you have a very structured week, you very well could already put in your day theme here. It's just so that every time you have a Tuesday, this property will already be filled out. So totally up to you or you could just leave it blank if you find that your working days are pretty flexible. So that said, I'm going to just click out of here and then again you would go in and do that for the rest of your days. Now the next template that we want to do is our journals template. So we're going to click new template. We are going to name this journal and I'm going to give this icon here. I'm going to give it star. Mm -hmm, this one. And then now I'm going to actually create a new property. So I'm going to add a property and I'm going to go and look for check. I might just search for it. Checkbox. Yeah, checkbox. Checkbox. And then I'm going to name this journal. And the reason why I'm creating this property, let me just spell it right, is because I want to create a filter. So I'm going to make sure I check this on. I'll show you how to do that in a bit here. So create this journal checklist property and turn this on. Now I'm going to go up to these three dots here and I'm going to go small text, full width. Again, this is just preference. Now, again, you can keep this as blank or you can actually go in and create different prompts or different kind of questions you want yourself to answer when it comes to creating these journal reflections. So again, to be fancy, I like to go in with a quote and we can go in and say five things I Great. Four. And then I'm going to, if I believe, if I hit shift enter, it will just copy within that same line. It won't move me to a new block if I were just to hit just enter. But in this case, I actually do want a bullet list. So I'm going to do the dash and then space and I'll give you a bullet list. And then if you click the six dots, click and drag and can push it up underneath here. So it's within that quote. And then you can just hit delete that space and there you go and then you can create multiple questions like that and then that's pretty much it for in this journal entry and so now we have basically all of our card templates made so when you're going throughout your week so when you let's say on a sunday or saturday you're cur curating your week ahead what i would do is just go into this monday i would just select the monday template and then again, you would go in and choose your theme, fill anything that's relevant to that day. Next day, I would pull up the Tuesday. Let's say the theme for this was real estate and you kind of get the idea as we go on. And then let's say it's actually a, that specific, you know, Monday. And let's say at the end of the day, we wanted to do a journal's reflection. You can go in, hit that plus button and then just hit journal. And then as you see here, that journal property is already turned on. And then you can go in and fill out this entry. So now that that is done, the next thing we're going to do is create a different view to segregate our agenda entries from our journal entries. And to do that, we have this table here that was first created. I'm just going to go ahead and use that. I am going to click on it. And now you see here we have this list here. So typically you have these blank ones here. So I'm just going to delete that delete and I want to right click on it because I want to rename it. So rename it and it's going to pull you over here. So journal entries, entries. And you can also give it um, an emoji if you wanted to, just to kind of stay cohesive with that. I think I use this one. Or you can change um, the icon here if you wanted to. 
But that said, I am going to go into layouts here. And again, I always like to have my pages open in a side peek. So there is that. Now you see here we have all of our card templates within this chart view. But we don't want that. We want to segregate just our journal entries from our agenda, which is why I created this additional property because we are going to create a filter. So to do that, we are going to head over to filter here and then I'm just going to filter it just by journal. So I'm going to click this on and then journal is checked. And so now we just see our journal entries. You can hide this particular property day theme because it's not relevant. So hide and view and then you can just rearrange the look of this. So if you click this open journal, you can see just that page. So again, you can see calendar with everything on there and then just a view of just your journal entries because we have created a filter using the journal property. That my friend is how you can create a agenda, habit tracker and reflections journal log all within one single Notion database. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it to the very end of this video, please comment down below, hashtag and cruise so i know that you are a real one and if you want to learn more about notion then please check out this dedicated video playlist here and also check out my notion topics on my etsy shop but with that said thank you so much for watching and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one